All right, so today is the fifth day of week two for me. Yesterday, confession time, uh, was an amazing day with my family, uh, but not a good day for my diet. We were at a place for lunch uh, after missing breakfast, not a good idea. I was starving, and for certain reasons, we decided to leave and I couldn't get the mango chicken salad that I was going to get. And the place my family decided to go to was a burger joint. Um, they had one salad on the menu. It was like a cob salad with chicken and bacon. The only dressing they had is like ranch or French because it's a burger place. So I figured when in Rome, right? I mean, if I'm going to get... 600 calories, you know, 700 calories from a meal, whether it's a salad or a burger, I may as well eat the burger. However, that choice spiraled out of control very fast. Um, I found myself ordering uh, a double burger, because hey, it's more protein, right? Um, and nibbling on some people's french fries. And so really just, you know, I probably could have chose a chicken burger instead a healthier protein and um, maybe got a side salad I don't know I just wasn't proud of myself at that moment but it was a good moment because I regretted it and so I can hopefully hold on to that feeling and take it with me as I move forward the next time I'm in a situation where I'm tempted to make a poor choice I can remember just how crappy I felt after eating it and not not only emotionally but physically too like just didn't sit well with me. Um, so I made a better choice at lunchtime and or at dinner time, and then um, kind of splurged a little bit at night. And so anyway, I had a I had a poor day yesterday. I I didn't have my workout. I made some poor decisions nutritionally, which I'm not proud of. Uh, and so today, here I am. I missed. Cardio 1 and Core 1 yesterday, and today is Resistance 2. So I started with Resistance 2, and as you know, I increased the sandbag to 15 pounds. So I wasn't sure how that was going to go, but it was awesome. Again, this is probably my favorite workout so far. Really, really enjoy it. Um, it's challenging, but it's a lot of fun. Um, and the time flies by on this one. And... So anyway, I did that, I felt great, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do uh, cardio one to kind of make up for yesterday, hopefully a little bit. I know that's not the right way to think about it, but I did. Um, and I started thinking, you know what, no, I'm not gonna do cardio one. The weather here in Michigan's turning out better, and so I'm gonna go out for a run. I'm gonna go for a jog with my son. And I was thinking that's kind of like a compromise, you know, like I, I'm not, making up in my workout plan, but I am getting more activity in and it's with my son. So it's bonding time and we're enjoying the weather and, and all these kinds of good things. But then I'm like, no, you know what? I'm just going to press play and I'll still go out later with my son. So I did, I press play on cardio one and oh my goodness. Oh, it kicked my butt. Um, and there's no sandbag. But here's what I realized. There's a lot of full body, body resistance weight cardio. So there's a million burpees in this workout. There's squats uh, and all these kinds of things, right? Um, and so I guess what I'm trying to say is that I realized just how, because my heart rate, by the time I got done with these burpees and the the lateral sprints and stuff my heart rate is racing it's like 165 170 and i'm like man i gotta i gotta like press pause i don't think i can go on to the next work the next exercise and then these more cardio specific exercises these t jacks and uh a skips that you see people doing man these where these are really the things that are supposed to be more cardio specific and in, in increasing your heart rate these exercises were a relief these were like my active rest you know and these are the highest numbers in your pyramids that you're doing 
So when we're doing 50 T jacks and 50 ace ace Brents a skips, we're doing 50 of them or 50 counts worth. Um, those were like active rest periods in comparison to the burpees and the lateral runs and and all these other things. So I guess I'm saying what I notice is that it's not just cardio. It's strength cardio, even on your cardio days. It's not uh, necessarily weighted resistance with a weight or a sandbag, but um, you're using your body weight to get to your cardio. And hey, <laughs> I've got a lot of that right now. So, um, and I don't know if it was just because I did resistance before this or if it was because of my poor diet yesterday, but cardio one kicked my butt today. Um, so I've got one more week. Week three is still doing cardio one, uh, cardio two and resistance one and two. Week four, I start bringing in the three level exercise. So we got one more week with these workouts. Um, to see some progress, which I am seeing, and to see my strength building up before I move on to resistance three and uh, cardio three. So stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated on my progress along the way. But overall, I'm feeling just fantastic and really, really enjoying the program. Uh, it's invigorated something that's been kind of dormant uh, in my life for a while. I just, I feel more alive. I, I appreciate life and um, I'm really glad to be back doing this. And, and thank you for watching. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. And so if you have any questions, if you'd like to share your journey, I'd love to hear it. Uh, get in contact with me. So give me a like on the video like this, little thumbs up or whatever it looks like. Leave a comment below, let me know you watched it, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. God bless.